Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number four. Hey, this is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in the last video, number three, we saw uh, 2003 formulas where we summed with three criteria. We saw how to count using some products and we saw how to average using an average and if array then we saw the D formulas D sum which is a database D count and D average and we concluded last video that the D formulas were dramatically 20 to 90 percent faster than these formulas here now let's see how to do uh, the same calculations we're gonna sum count and average with three criteria but we're gonna use 2007 functions, the new functions, sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs. They are going to blow away these other formulas in terms of how fast they can do calculations. It's worth buying 2007 just for this if you have large spreadsheets. Here's our criteria. Let me blow this up here. I'm actually going to uh, take this and move it over one here. There we go. All right, you ready? We're going to use sum ifs equals sum ifs and there's a sum range and then it's just criteria range one criteria one criteria range two criteria two right so it's a much different construct than any of these other ones so the sum range we need to go over to our database and get our sales so I click on the top one I hold control shift and down arrow and then I hit F4 that jumps the screen back into view and locks them even though we don't need them locked so we have the sum range comma the criteria range we'll do sales rep first so I'm going to scroll over and get sales rep control shift down arrow and then F4 and then that's the criteria range and then we put a comma and we know it's now it's the criteria and we simply click there comma the criteria range 2 is going to be customer so I go over here customer control shift down arrow F4 comma and I'll click on Fred Meyer comma and I finally need my uh, product range there it is control shift down arrow F4 comma and I'll get the Carlota so let's look at this here close parentheses we have our uh, sum range and then it's just criteria range criteria criteria range criteria criteria range criteria all separated by commas now we want to see the new count if so I'm going to click in this cell equals count ifs and all it wants is criteria range, criteria, criteria range, criteria, criteria range, criteria. There's no uh, first range like we had in the sum. So actually, uh, we can come over here and sales rep, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, and then click on that one. And then comma, and notice if you're looking at your screen tip, now it has criteria range 2 and criteria. So I'm going to go over to my customer, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, and then get this criteria comma and then criteria range three well it's going to be product so product control shift down arrow f4 comma and now it, it says it wants the criteria three so I'll click there close parentheses by the way I think it's 64 um, for these uh, three functions we're looking at here that you can have uh, criteria range and criteria and then I'm gonna hit enter and sure enough it gets 49 finally average ifs equals and actually we're going to do a little uh, trick here we're going to highlight uh, all of this because the same exact range of values to criteria um, to to average and the same criteria range and criteria from our sum ifs will work equals average if and in 2007 if you find one from the drop down you can double click it notice it says average range right and then it's just like some if criteria range one criteria criteria range two etc so I'm gonna control V and you can even uh, put your cursor here and watch the criteria range we got our average range which is the sum the uh, sales click here that's criteria range one criteria one etc and you can just kinda see how it scrolls through all of the uh, screen tip bolded areas finally we can come to the end and put a close parenthesis and enter. Now the uh, final moment comes. Let's go ahead and time these. Now in our last video we timed uh, the 2003 formulas 
And we, uh, so this is a 2003. This is uh, the D functions. And this is 2007. So I'm going to click here on the sum ifs and, and click my time. 0 0.0027. 0 0.0027. All right, and then I'm going to uh, do the count ifs one here. Ready? Click that and time it. 0 0.028. 0 0.028. So that one's not much faster. Uh, I think if we click it a second time, we'll see that it's, oh, no, it's not much faster. Look at that. And then we'll click here. This is for uh, the uh, average ifs. I'm going to time it. 0 0.0029. 0 0.0029. Now, again, as I said in the last video, you probably want to time each one of them three times and average them. But um, you can see that there's a dramatic improvement from here to here to here. Let's just see how much faster the 2007 um, R functions are from uh, earlier methods of doing it. So I'm going to say equals the n value divided by where we started minus 1. Double click and send it down. So uh, 98, 28, 95. If that's not profound, I don't know what is. We could also compare it to the uh, D functions. Still not uh, 94. That's still pretty fast. Uh, so 94.09 and 26. I'm going to control Z Z, just because this is comparing uh, 2007 to 2003. And these are uh, this is how much faster. So it goes 98% faster, 28, 95% uh, faster. So um, if that's not a reason to get 2007, if you have big spreadsheets, I don't know what is. All right, when we come back, we have lots of amazing tricks still to come in speeding up your spreadsheet.